So, <clears throat> well, the snipping is complete and the antenna has been modified <clears throat> using wire cutters. What I did was I soldered a piece of um, wire onto the end here. It's actually one of those cable ties that comes with cables. Um, soldered it on and then trimmed it. As you can see, these are my iterations of trimming getting shorter and shorter as I'm getting closer and closer to the correct resonant frequency. And if we look at the analyzer, you can see there is the dip in SWR at 870 megahertz. That mark is set to 870 and the SWR is about 1.2. <clears throat> so that's interesting because I know that this antenna resonates a slightly higher frequency, but it's the uh, extra capacitance caused by the piece of wood underneath it. If I stand this up, then we'll see a better representation of how the antenna performs in free space. And you see the frequency has shifted higher, up to about 900 megahertz. And what I've done is I've trimmed the plastic cover. And I noticed when I did that, <coughs> if you look, I don't know if you can see, but the hole is not even centered properly. Um, the hole is off to one side, so it means that one wall is thicker than the other side of the wall, which means that they actually made a directional antenna, probably unintentionally. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip this on here and see how the resonant frequency changes. Let's see if I can do that. So there you go, you can see it moving. And I've just squeezed it on there a little bit. <clears throat> and now you see the resonant frequency is correct again because of the dielectric effect of this plastic and the SWR is 1.06 or so which is a really good match so I've really got this working at 870 megahertz which is the frequency I wanted at and it's matched and it seems to work and somewhere is the rest of the covering which I didn't need <clears throat> I just cut this off with a hacksaw and you can see how much of it is not required. That much was just for show. So that's been trimmed out and this is the final antenna. The next thing to do, of course, is some field strength tests. Thanks for watching and, and let's see what comes next in this video series.